He's a caterpillar. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome to my humble abode. Images. There you. <laughs> What's cracking, lacking? So we come out this afternoon um, for a bit of a wander. We're going to go up to Frith Hall, and it's been around since the 1600s. Don't really know much about it. I think there's quite a bit of information online. Uh, it's about a two mile walk up there. We're just parked at Ulfa Bridge, which is part of that, um, that video that Dan did recently, uh, the Dudden Loop. So we'll crack on a bit. We'll see what it's all about. And we'll see if we can get some good views on the drone and some more footage on this camera. We'll see you soon. Wait for me! There you go. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He's a capitilla. <laughs> Quick warning for anybody that weighs more than 13 ton, might not be able to walk over bridge. That might be me, you know. The ruins of Frith Hall above the Duddon Valley. The hall was built by the Huddleston family, Lords of Millam, as a hunting lodge in the early 17th century to replace the 16th century nearby the Old Hall at the Old Hall Farm. It later became an inn used by travellers and pony trains on the road to Millam and had its share of rumours of smuggling, death and intrigue associated with lonely dwellings in wild places. For a time, it rivalled Gretna Green as a runaway couple's wedding destination. A tale is told that a man was murdered here when it was an inn, and his ghost haunts the ruins. So we're in a uh, Frith Hall ruins now and Dan's just been going through some information with me. He knows more about it than I do because he literally lives next door to it but back in the day or now still this is uh, supposedly haunted this little building or what's left of it and he was just saying that in this corner here well actually in all the corners these are um, elder trees 
and because there's not many of them about to see each other they're actually used to ward off evil spirits is it allegedly so yeah they used to they used to plant them for that i don't know if you could hear what dan was saying then but it's uh it's quite a cool spot um and a lot bigger than it actually looks um but if i turn you around that's the old fireplace it's actually a chimney going right up it which is pretty cool, it's still standing which for whatever's left of this building it shows you how good they used to build them really but I'm not too sure what that used to be up there or how they even got up there to be honest there must have been a staircase somewhere which isn't here anymore but uh, we're gonna get a brew and that just chill out, there's a bit less wind up here and then um, we were saying before actually there's a new building there that's for or newish with uh, windows fully intact king of his perch what <laughs> we've also just been discussing as well if we can pluck up the courage to get over the hauntedness it could be a pretty good spot to camp in here flat ground plenty of room or even if we're just like outside of the ruins but yeah keep an eye on the uh the youtube page oh bloody hey oh it's twin bedroom up here oh there's holes everywhere Lovely. I don't think you'd be able to see them on the camera, but that looked like a pair of uh, Eurofighter Typhoons coming through the valley, and it sounded class. So there you have it. Frith Hall in the Duddon Valley just above Ulfa Bridge a nice little walk up here I'm just going to start heading back down now it's gone a bit murky the weather it's a bit boggy. and I brought no jacket I wonder if they're magic Oh, <laughs> Images. What's crack? Not today, pal. Not That's us just back at Ulfa Bridge now. Car's literally just on the other side of it. So uh, yeah, if you like this sort of uh, content, hit that like, subscribe, and the bell, so you'll be notified of any future videos coming up. But until then, we'll see you on the next one. Ta-da! Ta-da!